Hey, friends. So, I'm sort of building on the post that I did yesterday in, in this one, in that the, the kind of primary thing that came up for me yesterday, it, it sort of oddly was surfacing in my life and then um, came out very explicitly in a piano lesson. But the primary thing that showed up was a sense that softness is something that I need to embrace or invite or receive. And it's really coming, it's funny because this, this theme has kind of emerged a handful of times over the last several weeks and now I'm really starting to see oh I get what's going on here like it's real this message is trying to come home um because you know in in a way the I did a post a few weeks ago where I talked about my habitual approach to music which which has been in the past to perceive a piece of music as a technical challenge and a skill building opportunity you know i'm doing a deep dive on the chopin etudes right now and i mean you want to talk about technical skill building they're like the piano technique bible these pieces and I'm enjoying that so much and I'm loving the learning that I'm doing. And also, somewhere in the middle of this, particularly through input from Madeline, I've realized there's music here. There's music here. There's the sound of music here. It's not just about A, a technical challenge to be overcome. And and, I, and I'm, I'm clocking this, I guess, as a very kind of like, I think pretty masculine approach to something, but which ultimately in its hardness repels, it, it's like I keep punting my capacity further down the road because the soft, it's it, from that approach i can't let the sound of the music really affect me i can't really sit and receive the music into my heart and i also can't ever stop driving so hard that i create the softness in the in the phrases that makes it possible to play them at the tempo that they're meant to be played at. There's, and this is something where Madeline has been really great about pointing this out, you know, like fire needs air. I think I said this on a post a couple of weeks ago, fire needs air, which means these, these points of, of, of impact and emphasis in music are, 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 are made into what they are by the fact that they're surrounded by other sections that are not as emphasized where the where the tension can really kind of go out and these notes are not played as loud they're not they're not emphasized as much and it's almost like a like an in-breath out-breath thing that happens within the phrasing of the music which makes it possible for it to go blindingly fast and at the same time not accrue any tension so this the key to it is softness and being able to let softness in. And I think that's really, that's really my focus right now. That's, that's really something that, that, that I'm trying to, on a soul level, receive. Because, you know, I even watch myself with Annalise um, 
and I've been having such a great time with her and I'm it's summertime so I'm getting time with her and we're going to the pool a lot and we're playing gymnastics and we're doing all these things these father-daughter activities that I'm just having a blast with but like this morning she was I mean, she was just going to try on clothes all morning. She was never going to actually leave the house. And so I kind of got hard with her. Or I got, you know, I pushed her and kind of got irritated. And she had this, not a, she, and I just pushed her over the edge into kind of being a little, being upset. She was crying and gave me a hug. And immediately I was like, oh no, what have I done? Why? But there's just an inherent, there's a, there's a, there's a, a firmness or a hardness in my approach that I think is is it, it's it's showing up right now and it's 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 giving me a chance to really kind of look at well is this how I want to be this is how I want to do it. No. Okay. How do we want to, you know, what's the alternative? Can I, can I allow, you know, and so that's why, you know, yesterday's post beat of where I was kind of having this sensation arise. I, I have a hard time letting myself be taken care of and I'm, actually sort of now looking for ways to embrace that, to be okay with it. And it's a softness. It's a softness. And You know, there's something that um, Brene Brown says in conjunction with vulnerability, which is that when we really kind of get clear on the fact that, that vulnerability is where we kind of have to live if we want to be, if we want to lead happy lives, we kind of have to live there. But when we make that decision or as we as we enter into that um, place, we realize it's not that we may be hurt if we allow ourselves to be vulnerable. It's that we will be hurt. And I think that's part of what's coming home to me is that I still, it's like I want to be vulnerable. I, my, my ego would l l understands that I need to be vulnerable in order to be healthy. But my ego still wants to avoid being hurt. And, and so I take steps that, that are, that are counter to that. You know, it's like I'm, I'm, leaning in wholeheartedly o over here on like team vulnerability but then when when a thing actually comes up that could hurt me i i protect i go back and protect and that protecting mechanism is almost completely unconscious it's 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 one that i don't even i mean it may it may be that i can make it more conscious now but it's it i'm just noticing that i dip out of vulnerability quickly and without really realizing what I'm doing. I just dip out and all of a sudden I'm back in protected mode or, 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 or even just kind of like, you know, firm ordered masculine mode. And 
and and so it's really but that's why i think Brene brown's um insight is so crucial we 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 have to be willing to accept that we will be hurt so that when it happens it's not a surprise and it's not something there's nothing wrong it's not something we need to fix there's nothing to do i mean there may be things to do but we don't we're not going to avoid that experience and 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 the experience the experience of pain is part of it and again this kind of sounds so obvious when you when you talk about it intellectually but experientially the 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 wherewithal to to em, embrace a painful experience and integrate it and not resist it and let it in and know that it's part of the path that's still a challenge for me you know intellectually yeah i got it i get it i'm gonna get hurt great <laughs> but then you show me that experience of hurting me and i go <sighs> and i grab hold of the old you know i grab hold of the old magic sauce and and douse the flames i have no idea what that image is supposed to mean um but yeah so i guess what, what i'm really what i'm really um feeling and what i'm really noticing is that softness is really I, I would do quite well to put my attention on softness and to really allow myself to live into a softness in music in life with my daughter with my wife with my family with everybody softness let's see what happens to me and what happens in my life if i can let some softness in that's where i am today people thanks for watching appreciate you so much love have a great day i'll see you tomorrow